Hello and welcome back to another episode of Learning Feed the Beast. Last time we built the water mill that we have here and we built the bat boxes and we wired all of this up. And now what we're going to be doing is getting another power source, the geothermal one. That's correct, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. Do you have your wrench on you? Yes, I do. Here you go. You can have the wrench. Oh, sweet. I'm going to just pop out this generator here. Okay. So you're um, rearranging this for the uh, geothermal power sources as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. Well, I've been getting um, things ready to craft these. They are a bit expensive. Let's have a look. So, we need some glass and some empty cells. I haven't crafted these before, but we just need tin. Um, yeah, um, actually, ones? see if you can make it with cans, because cans are cheaper than cells. Cans? Yeah, just just search for a can. Oh, okay, <laughs> I don't know. got ya. I can search, can't I? <laughs> oh, no, um, there's no cans. Oh, what? hang on. Unless it's spelt like, no. <laughs> it's spelled C A N. Let me. I'll just look. Just. <laughs> yeah, it's three upside down tin gives you twelve cans. But I think you do actually need the cells because it specifies cells. Um, okay. Right. Yeah, so. I just get... Eight of those. If I remember correctly, it is something like that. And there we go, we've got two geothermal generators. And we're going to need another bucket of lava. Didn't you say we can craft that with tin as well as... Iron? Yeah, you can use tin to make a bucket of... of or a bucket, rather. <laughs> um, just uh, place it in nice. the same recipe. And there you go. Alright, so get, I've got two that. of these. I've only got one bucket of lava. Um, where do you want me to place these geothermals? I just want to place this cable down here. Um, oh, one short. <laughs> Always one short. Uh, I can chuck you another one. Uh, I thought I had some in my inventory. That's yep, fine. I got one left. Okay, cool. Oh, it's behind you. Yep. Alright, so I've got that. And then this way, or it's a little bit or more organized. So we can throw the geothermals on the left-hand side here, or the right-hand side of that cable there. And we can also throw them on the front of the cable as well. If we okay. Need to. So oh, if we needed even more of these, we could just keep plopping them around the cable. Yeah. Oh, so Thank chuck you. a bucket of lava in there? Yeah, go for it. Um, it disappeared. <laughs> it should, um... Was I supposed to put it in the top? No, that's the bottom. No. Oh. Top, you put a battery. Um, it, it might take a second. Let me, um... Can I, can I now take my bucket back <laughs> out? It's not... Oh, yeah, you, you accidentally it. logged out. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that from time to time. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm in the... F oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, if you relog, you can see this thing is actually glowing. Um, okay, yeah, it just turned off for me. Oh, well... But now, well, now, but now the meter... Like, the front of it was glowing a moment ago, and now the meter inside, when I like right-click on it, now that's glowing. So I can't right-click <laughs> on anything in here. What the heck? <laughs> Technical difficulties, hang on. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh. Must have just been a bit of lag on my end. Okay. Cool. Oh, so. we have filled up our power, by the way. All these bat oh, yeah. boxes are full. <laughs> yeah, so, so that is geothermal's going to hold a lot of energy for is you. It, so is it going to, is it going to, like, the lava that I put in that, is that going to degrade slowly, or is it just going to stay there even? I think it's going to stay off. Um, I, see how it's off right now? That's because this bat box is full. Ah. Now, if we were to put something, like, in the furnace real quick, this, this thing would probably turn back on. Um, I'm not going to say for sure, because I'm not sure, but pretty sure. Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, it does. Did you, did, oh, you didn't actually put anything in there. Um, mm -hmm. I'll put in some sand, and now it should turn back on. Or we should see the power disappear from somewhere. No, the power shouldn't disappear from anywhere, because it's going to be pulling from... Oh, yeah, look. It'll flash on for like a split second and then turn right back off. Okay. So that's, keep that's actually a really good source of power. I didn't, I didn't even know that. Okay. I don't think I can wait forever. <laughs> I'll take your word for it that it flashed on. Yeah, it, it it flashed on for like half a second. Okay. Oh, I just saw it do it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. So, um, so yeah, that's a pretty good energy source. So maybe we want to throw. Well, I guess now that we've we've got the one, we don't really need more than one. Um, yeah, why don't we go and throw the other generator, uh, right up here? It's blinking quite a lot now. That's interesting. Yeah. 
All right, well, there we go. Um, I'm actually, let me see, because I know if you macerate cobblestone, it gives you something, but I'm not sure what, and I'd like to know, so I'm going to yeah, find out. that would be interesting. I didn't think of trying that. Can I macerate sand or glass? Yeah, uh, sand will give you... I don't know oh, what's This happening. reminds me of something that I think it was Biffa was talking about in the chat. Um, if you hover over items, you can press different keys on your keyboard, and it tells you what you can do with them. Oh, it gives you sand. <laughs> oh, Let's neat. macerate that then. Um, so I if I press, I think it's R tells you. R, oh. R is the recipe for any recipe for that to make that item, and U is any recipe that uses that item. Yes, they're the ones that he mentioned. Oh, a grinder. That's interesting. Wow. Yeah. So the there's just so much stuff it. here. Okay. Um, and let's press. What was it? Sorry, U and R. So U, U. is uses. R is recipes. Oh. Fertilizer. If you think of it that way, that's why I think of it. Smelting my brains backwards. Assembly so. table. Wow, there's just so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some fossil here. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Oh, you can make sandstone using a compressor. That's cool. And that's oh, yeah. slightly cheaper as well. One sand for one sandstone. Yeah, I'll throw the sandstone in our compressor up there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got one of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I've forgotten already. Well, all right. So the next thing we want, we want the yeah. English. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we might want to do is build uh, one of those advanced macerators and one of the advanced furnaces. So I don't know if you want to do that this episode, but yeah, yeah, we can do that now. I think. Um, do we have? I had trouble searching this before. I typed in macerator and I didn't see it. I it's see... okay. So search macerator, and yes. you see there should be only two. There's the regular one, and then there's the rotary macerator. Ah, it doesn't appear when I search MAC, unless I'm going mad. It does. It's oh, just it does. to the right of rotary the Rotary macerator. Table. Why did I not see that before? Okay. So, we have refined iron, we have a macerator, we need an advanced machine block. Um, so, the carbon yeah. plate we get from compressing raw carbon, which is made out of... Oh, and we need that. Yeah, we've got machine. we've got all of that. Okay, let's do that a bit quickly. Um, mm. We've got the coal dust. So let's make. You know what? I've got a rolling machine in my base. Would you like me to just go get it? Because I've got I've got actually some materials um, that. Or would you we, rather just do everything? Do we actually need it yet? Um, we on, will. I'm just grabbing some. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, Not let's hot. just go through this quickly. Um, Carbon plate is made by compressing raw carbon, whatever that was. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's compress that. Off it goes. Um, advanced machine block. So the other thing we need is advanced alloy. Ah, oh, this is where we need the rolling machine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. If you don't mind that, that's going to save us a lot of time, isn't it? Although we should take a look at the uh, crafting recipe for that. Yeah. Let's I'll just go. bring it though that way. I, okay, I do cool. have one, and I also have the engine. Oh no, I don't. They took uh, my. Do you engine. know what? That's, it's fine actually. We can make this quite easily. Do you? Got, okay, yeah, look at we need for Sterling that. engine, because we need one of those as well. Oh, okay. Let me let me just make the rolling machine first, and I'll look that up. So we need okay. one, two, three, four for pistons. Another. Oh, I've already got all of this in my inventory. Okay, four and four, two, three, four, and I'm gonna need a lot of wood as well and cobblestone. Uh, I've got plenty of wood there. I'll set up a little tree farm up above. Okay. Oh, your uh, ge geothermals run out. Oh, that should have lasted longer. <laughs> Are the yeah. bat boxes still full, though? Uh, pretty full. So did that run out quicker because... Um, it may have run out quicker. It may have been on a timer and only been outputting energy when it was needed. So it may be like 20 seconds or... A minute or something. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not going to say that I know because okay. I don't. I got no idea. So the rolling machine. I think I've almost crafted that now. If I remember, it was. And then iron around the corners. Have yeah, I taught you how to use a little machine. question mark next to the um, crafting recipes? No, you haven't. I don't think you have. <clears throat> okay, so for the next thing we're going to need, it's called a Sterling engine. So go ahead and search that. Okay. And then don't complain. It's a, it's not as bad as it looks. Although, oh, you know what? We might want to just do an electric engine. Uh, Let me look. How at do you spell Sterling? 
Is it? Is there an S T E R? S T E R L L I N G. I N G. Yep. S T E R. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not getting anything when I search for that. Oh, it's definitely not that then. Hang on, let me go. N G I. Oh, maybe I'm S T I R. Wow, Sterling. There you go. I guess I don't know how to spell either. What was that? S T S T I R L I N G. Oh yeah, I guess so. But before you make that, oh, let me look. Nice and easy to make as well. There's an electric engine that we can make, uh, which is made relatively simply. Uh, we'd need a little bit of tin, uh, but they can actually use the energy that you're generating back here rather than using coal. So, I mean, it's up to you. But if you'd like to do that, we can do that instead. Um, whatever you think's best. I think. I think well, I know the stone one. one I've got yet. enough resources to build. Um, but we're trying to build the macerator. I'm getting a little. <laughs> lost in all the things. Uh, the advanced machine block. Right, so we should have the carbon plates. We're trying to make the advanced alloys which are made out of the mixed metal ingots using the rolling machine. <laughs> Does the rolling machine need to be hooked up to some power? Yeah, that's what the, the okay. sterling engine is for. So, refined iron, bronze and tin. We've got all of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that was really loud. Yeah, that was. That was crazy. <laughs> I did not expect that. Alright, um, I'm actually going to move your little tunnel because we're going to need a little bit more room on oh, the side. Oh, the that we needed on that? Uh, okay, no. All messed up here. It is bronze, and bronze is made... Uh, <gasps> I almost remember it. It's like tin. I'm not seeing it here <clears> either. Three copper, one tin. Sorry. Three <clears> copper, <throat> one tin. Wow, it's really loud. Yeah, um, I'm tin in my quite surprised by that. <laughs> The volume of that. All right, so how far down are we? What the heck? There. Wow, it's uh, crazy. Every time, I don't know. I don't have like the best short-term memory, trying to remember what the oh, recipe yeah. is. But then you're the looking at them issue. all the time, like loads. Of yeah, them. I have the same issue. Like, like when I was looking it up on the wiki, I would have to remember it, right? But yeah, I almost, I almost try not to use a little recipe machine if possible. Even though, like, like some of the things I know the recipe to, but I just look anyway, right? Oh. And so I, I try not to do that because that, I think, doesn't help. I just tried crafting this, and of course, I got to put it into the rolling machine. <laughs> I just spent all that time building it, and I tried to craft it. Okay, oh. so, um, can I just take that? Nope. How do I get this thing to start going? Um, like I said, we need we need that engine. Um, before... Oh, you need an engine for the rolling machine. That's what oh. I said. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How many times did we talk about? Well, that? we got our carbon plates from the compressor now. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna. I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> oh. Let's put these things in here. We don't need them as much. Um. So sorry. Uh, we need the. What was it, the Sterling machine or your Sterling wanted... engine? But I would actually rather make the electric engine. I've never made one, right? But I know that they can produce energy the same way as the Sterling engine. So, and that's the build craft. Okay, so so you might be confused. That is the build craft form of energy. Okay. Yeah, we there's... can build this as well. So we need to make a piston, glass, tin. So tin gear comes from stone, comes from wood. Okay, let's do that. That should be pretty easy. Uh, did I need more than one of those? Yes, I uh, did. Two, two tin gears, yeah, or two of whatever gear it is. All right. Wow, that, that's a real thunderstorm out there right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious if, if maybe weather is different. I want to go out and look, actually. I want to go see if the weather... Oh, it okay, looks like it's that's... daytime out there. Oh, we're in a desert. I'm like... What? <laughs> okay, I've almost got this crafted now. Oh, that's weird. It must not be raining here. Because I'm in the jungle part, there's no rain at all. So yeah. it must be a thunder. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> no! What happened? Oh. Did you get hit by. That was a creeper, yeah. Oh, a creeper. Classic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't get hit by a. Uh... That would have been crazy. I would have just... <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, no, that was a creeper. Okay. That's okay, then. 
Oh. I now have your electrical engine. Do I need to put that next to the rolling machine? Yes, but not yet. Don't do it yet. Okay. And the rolling machine does it even need to be attached to oh. these cables at the back then? Oh, man. For the power source? I'm not sure. Man, I wonder where that thunder was coming from. Could you see lightning striking or? Mm -mm, it's sunny out here. Oh, I can see the lightning. Whoa. Okay, so there's lightning for sure, but there's no rain or. I've thing. got rain here. Yeah. Really? Oh my so must... god, two creepers. <laughs> oh yeah. Two, I, there's I like two of them, them turned around, like synchronized. Oh no. Now I head towards you. All my stuff is. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, it's just my luck. Right, I think we should take a little break here and get ourselves organised. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> it's cool. Right, so this thing up here, do I move that with a wrench or with a pick? Um, You can probably just move it with a pick. Pull out all the stuff in it, though, first. Oh, yeah, very good idea. Just just in case. I. Uh, apparently I can't shift-click that. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. So where are we going to put this? I've got the electrical engine with it as All well. Alright, so you made the electric engine. So, um, the electric engine needs to be powered by these wires here. Um, so, I was thinking just throw it right next to that wire there. Um, but before but before you do that, put the rolling engine right here on this block. Okay. Or the rolling machine, rather. And then put the engine there, and the engine should face it automatically. Otherwise, we would need that, oh, that other wrench cool. that you made. But, but yeah. So there we go. Now this thing um, will will gain a little bit of a charge uh, from this, so we're going to be losing a little bit of energy. So yeah, that's that's basically done. Now what we'll need is to give it a redstone signal, and that will turn the engine on, and that will start powering this rolling machine. Okay. And if you look on the right hand side, I'll let you do your thing. Yeah, so I was just making a lever so we can power it. All right. Now before you pull the lever. I want to show you. If you look on the right hand side of the rolling machine, there's a little bar and it says 0MJ. And MJ, or Minecraft Joules, is the uh, energy uh, that Buildcraft uses. The the, uh, the energy that we've been using so far has been EU, which is what um, Industrialcraft uses. So Buildcraft has a different type of energy, which is generally produced by these engines here. So that's called MJ. And so okay. if you want to go ahead and put that lever down and pull it um, it'll basically turn on the engine here, I'll and actually go ahead and put it, put it on that block there. That'll be better for us. That way it doesn't interfere with anything. Oh, and and there you go. Now that thing will start powering, and you can look on the right hand side here. You can see this thing is gaining quite a bit of MJ. So once it's completely full, just go ahead and turn that engine off because we'll be wasting power by leaving it on. All right. Okay. So it's like a charge. Yep. And so that should produce one item through out of this thing. We'll need to charge it a couple times, but yeah, that's basically how that works. Oh no, wait, I'm doing this all wrong. Uh, let's do that again. One, two, three. And, oh, okay, now it's going. Sweet. <laughs> now we have our mixed metal ingot. And what did we need that for? The advanced machine block? Yeah. So we needed to compress that, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. Mac. Advanced machine block. So advanced alloy is made. Yes, compressing. And that's our compressor up there. So we need two of those and one machine block. And this is all for our advanced macerator, the rotary macerator. Yep. Oh, so we'll be able to build that in a moment then. Let's just get uh, the rest of the materials that we need. Oh, they're already there. Okay. Yep. Wow, I forget things so quickly. So we need a machine block. Yep, that's right. Okay, I'll craft that. Actually, don't worry about making another macerator. We'll just pull the one that you already have, because we're not going to use it anymore. It's outdated. Oh, no, no. This is for the advanced machine block. Oh, okay. So, there we go. Machine block, then two of those, and two of these compressed things up here. And we should be able to make it. Oh, there we go. Right, so then to make this we need the original macerator. Okay, so I'm going to use the wrench on that. Hopefully it doesn't break. Uh, do I right-click it or left-click it? Um, left-click, or right-click. 
Right um, click. one of them. Oh, oh, it. You picked it up, but it had what oh, okay. was inside. It came out as well. You were wondering about okay, that. Yeah, earlier. iron dust came out. So, if you want to Cheers. have that, and I'll throw the iron dust in our electric furnace. Oh, you smelted. Oh, that was me. I'm silly. Okay, I'm gonna just put some. Uh, nice rotary macerator. All right. Uh, should I place it in the same place or? Um. Yeah. Just give me one second though, because I wanna. I just wanna put this here. And because we're ah, gonna need you to... like it to be neat and tidy. <laughs> oh man, I can't stand that. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and put it in the same place. And then the next thing we're gonna do is probably gonna be this um, this electric furnace. So, um, I don't know if you want to do that this episode either, but well, maybe we I, I would like to use the rotary macerator first quickly. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and I mean, get the. I've got a ton of we... silver here. This I've got a now, whole stack before... of it. Now Sorry. this is what I was mentioning. So yeah, um, make another lever real quick, and then come around back here with me. Okay, I've got another lever. Okay, now if you open the interface for the rotary macerator, um, you can see that it says zero RPM. Now, yeah. what we need to do before we put anything in there is we want to get that to 7,500 RPM because otherwise we'll be wasting a good portion of the power that we're putting into it. Okay. Um, so to do that, we can give it a redstone signal and that will speed it up. So if you want to place the redstone uh, or the lever on the back of that block, no, 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 this block here in the middle. Uh, that way, because it's going to power the one above, too, and that's where we'll put the other furnace. So, okay. go ahead and pull that, and then you'll see it'll start gaining speed. Um, huh. And we so want just that to a be simple lever. Oh, yep, it's going 75,000 RPM. Oh, 75,000, okay. Yeah. So, that'll take some time to charge. Yeah. So, I mean, in the meantime, we can work on this electric furnace. So, if, if we were like. to put silver in there now, would it... Would it it would still do its thing, but it would... be slow. It would be slower than the previous macerator. Okay, but it would, it so would get, it would get faster up. slowly. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Strange little feature, that. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes these a little bit different, because as it's speeding up, it's actually going to be eating, um, like, 6 ah, EU per tick. So it's charging. And then once it's once it's fully sped up, it, it'll be eating 1 EU per tick. So it is actually eating up a good portion of the energy that we have right now. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be worthwhile in the amount of time that it saves. Okay. Okay, so the macerator is now fully sped up, and we can show how fast this is. Um, can I put two different types of ore in there at the same time? Um, you used to be able to. You can't anymore. I'm not sure what the second slot is for anymore. So, okay. but yeah, you can put it only in the left and hand. I just slot picked there. up some while we were waiting for that to charge. We went caving. I got another one of these monazite ores. Um, don't, if I hover don't. over that and press what was it U for uses, U. so you can smelt it into something. Okay, I was curious what it was used for. I guess I'll yeah, hold on to that for now. Yeah, don't. You don't need that basically ever. So just keep it in its ore form, because okay. otherwise you'll be wasting inventory space. But yeah, if you want to grab maybe that uh, iron. Let's or put something. some copper in here. Oh, there you go. Damn, that is fast. <laughs> yeah, and uh, actually, this is slower than the furnace is. So the, so furnace the furnaces, is... the advanced furnaces, go even quicker than that. Yep. That is great. Because you you can smelt two items at once. Nice. And uh, yeah, it's pretty well, useful. That is another episode of Learning Feed the Beast done. I think we've got quite a lot done this time. A lot of crafting there. Um, any idea what we're going to be doing next episode? Well, next time, for sure, we're going to be building this into the advanced furnace. And oh, then, yeah. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.